These friends may have endured a lot together, but they always came back to each other. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen drama friendships. For this list, we'll be looking at the best friendships from our favorite dramatic teen shows as well as dramedies. We won't be looking at teenage friends from sitcoms, so pairings like Corey and Sean from Boy Meets World won't be on our list. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. And it kills me so I took so long I'll never turn my back on you Number 10. Bonnie Bennett and Damon Salvatore The Vampire Diaries I'm sure there are a million people we'd both rather be with right now. Couple thousand at most. Though TV storylines have progressed in many ways, we still don't see a lot of male female friendships that don't end with the two characters ending up together romantically. One great example of this is seen in The Vampire Diaries with Bonnie and Damon. I thought I was going to leave you all alone, huh? Where? I'm not out of nicknames for you yet. Despite the fact that these two definitely didn't get along in the earlier seasons of the show, this witch and vampire ended up having a friendship that had many rooting for them over some of the more romantic pairings. They've both made major sacrifices for each other, risking their own lives in the process. Because you, Bonnie Bennett, are an amazing woman. A mediocre crossword puzzle player. And my best friend. Number 9. Arya Montgomery, Spencer Hastings, Hannah Marin, and Emily Fields – Pretty Little Liars You'd be hard-pressed to find a group of teenage girls who have been through more together than the liars. I'm still here, bitches. And I know everything. A. They were brought closer together when one of their own went missing and spent the remainder of the show trying to survive being terrorized by a variety of different people while they attempted to solve the mystery of what happened to Allison. And that could not have been Jenna or Noel. They just went inside. Well, then it must have been Garrett. It can't be. He was arrested at my house at midnight. So what does that mean? It means that none of them killed Maya. They're bound together by the massive secrets they share, but beyond that, they also take the time to treat one another just like friends in the real world do when times get tough. Now. Let's go! Let's get the hell out of here! Let's go! Hurry! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Go! go. Number 8. Rory Gilmore and Lane Kim – Gilmore Girls Oh, and the PS de Resistance. She found an Amish school in Nicaragua. Nicaragua! A big shout out to Mama Kim on that one! There may not be a more wholesome pairing on our list than these two. While many female friendships on TV are full of cattiness and moments of conflict, for the most part, Rory and Lane are steadfast in their kindness to one another. How about you tell your mom the truth and insist that she lets you play with the band and rehearse in Stars Hollow loudly as long as your schoolwork doesn't suffer? Oh, I'm sorry, was that a serious suggestion? Hey, it's worth a shot. No, you're thinking your mom here, Rory. If I said that to mine, she'd start waving a crucifix at me. Despite how close she is with her mother, Rory always makes room for Lane in her life and often goes to her first with big news, like her first kiss or when she slept with Dean for the first time. I got kissed. And, and, I, and I shoplifted. Are you serious? Who kissed you? Dean. The new kid? Yes. You got the new kid? Oh my god! They share a love for music, junk food, and town activities, and are always ready to step in and help the other when they need it. Hey. Was it great? It was perfect. Wow. Number 7. Pacey Witter and Dawson Leary – Dawson's Creek Who is this mystery woman you keep alluding to? Unfortunately, the mystery woman remains a mystery even to me. There are some friends who never let a girl come between them, but Pacey and Dawson don't fit into that group. These old friends have plenty of conflict over the show's six seasons, primarily over their mutual love for Joey Potter. Hey, Dawson, you and Joey, she's not your girlfriend anymore. Right, she's not. Right, so then why are we having this conversation? Despite this obvious cause for a rift, though, the two friends always come back to each other. Their personalities are entirely different, with Dawson being more introspective and slow to act, and Pacey being more impulsive and bold. Whoa. Whoa, cut! <laughs> cut! Pacey, what the hell are you doing? 
I'm kissing, man. What does it look like I'm doing? Snorkeling. That's not the way it's scripted. While their old childhood friendship may have been forever changed when girls came into the picture, it's clear they still care about one another. Our serving wench is here. Of course, this completely ruins my romantic plans with Jen this weekend. Oh, forget Wonderbra for a moment. Don't you have to work on your own movie? What's up with that? Number six, Brittany Pierce, Quinn Fabre, and Santana Lopez. Glee. The Unholy Trinity. Starting together, ending together just the way it should be. It's hard to pick our favorite Glee friendship because there are so many contenders. While we love the pairing between Sam and Blaine, we couldn't help but pick Brittany, Quinn, and Santana, also known as the Unholy Trinity. Along with being beautiful, the three of us are national show choir championship goddesses. Mm -hmm. We are winners, which is why Finn has asked us to come and shower you with the inspiration that is the Unholy Trinity. Their friendship definitely isn't simple, and they've gone through their ups and downs. At times, cutting out one member or another. It keeps me crying, baby, for you. Keeps me sighing, baby, for you. So won't you hurry? They're definitely competitive and can be straight up cruel when the occasion calls for it. But their performances as a trio are unforgettable, and we appreciate that they're willing to reunite if only for the sake of music. Oh, baby, can't you see? I'm calling. Number 5. Manny Santos and Emma Nelson – Degrassi The Next Generation The kids of Degrassi sure go through a lot of teenage drama. Encountering pretty much every high school cliché and after-school special situation you can imagine. See Manny, this isn't so bad, is it? As long as we don't run into that jerk again. But Manny and Emma start out with a strong friendship at the beginning of the series that maintains throughout the duration of the show, despite the many hardships they both face. It's okay, Manny, he's gone. I knew it would work. Always does on my brother. They deal with bullying, strict parents, issues with alcohol and mental illness. While their personalities may differ and they experience different levels of popularity, these two stay together through thick and thin. Maybe you should just talk to your mom. She's cool. She should understand. She's not that cool. Number 4. Brooke Davis and Peyton Sawyer – One Tree Hill Brooke and Peyton may vacillate between being friends and frenemies, but in the end, they always remember that it's hoes over bros. Now that Lucas has outslutted the both of us, are we back to hoes over bros? Lucas definitely manages to come between them on more than one occasion. But when things get really tough, like, you know, when you're being held hostage by your fake brother on prom night, they're going to be there to protect each other. You saved me. You saved me too. I guess now it's hoes over psychos. <laughs> In later seasons, they were no longer competing over boys, and in fact, Brooke ended up being the godmother to Peyton and Lucas's daughter, who they bestowed with her name. You know, love triangles are so high school. Seriously. We made it, didn't we? Number three, Scott McCall and Style Stalinsky, Teen Wolf. Am I drunk? You're wasted. Yeah. Male friendships don't get enough credit, but one of the best examples in recent memory has to be Scott and Styles from Teen Wolf. Scott, you're my best friend. Okay, and I need you. These two were inseparable from a very young age, but their bond was strengthened when Scott was turned into a werewolf at the beginning of the show's run. Personally, I think you're handling this pretty freaking amazingly. You know, it's not like there's a, a lycanthropy for beginners class you can take. They started the McCall Pack together and throughout the series, used their differing personalities to overcome so many different obstacles. We can't even count how many times they saved each other's lives, but they still found time for moments of levity as well. Nobody's Batman and Robin any of the time. Not even some of the time? Just stay here. Oh my God. Number two, Buffy Summers, Willow Rosenberg, and Xander Harris, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy may be the chosen one, but she wouldn't be able to accomplish anything without her besties by her side. We can't wait much longer. I know. Okay, Xander, you and I are gonna go in. We've done it before. I'm going with you. No. Look, it's too dangerous, Will. Xander and Willow are both integral members of the Scooby Gang and support Buffy as she tries to rid the world of evil. I, I can't just sit here. Okay, you can back us up. 
They both bring their own skills to the table, be it Willow's computer skills and witchcraft or Xander's sense of humor. These three share a deep love and devotion for one another that spans the entire series and overcomes countless interferences. What's the deal? Oh, a bunch of little kids need people to take them trick-or-treating. Sign up and get your own pack of sugar hype little runts for the night. Yikes. I'll stick to vampires. If they hadn't all made it to the end, we're not sure we would have been able to cope. He swears that tomorrow night is like dead for the undead. They stay in. Those wacky vampires. That's why I love them. They just keep you guessing. Before we unveil our number one favorite teen friendship, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey. Hey. Do you want to play? Oh, it looks like someone's trying to be a hero, but he got a little conky. XO, XO, it's an unbeatable combination. Your 15 minutes are officially up at last. You know, being invisible, completely underrated. I really miss being ignored. And I really missed having you focus on me because there's a crisis I can't ignore. Scabby Queen, I win, I win. No, you don't. You have to get rid of the queen. You lost, sorry. I still don't get this game. Help me. I need to fix this, what should I do? Apologize. <laughs> but I believe in what I wrote, and contrary to popular opinion, I believe in newspapers where these ideas belong. No, Anne. Apologize to Josie. Why are you staring at Lisa Bellini? What are you hey, trying to do to me? Are you crazy? All right, if I let go, do you promise to be quiet? Yeah. You swear? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Serena Vanderwoodson and Blair Waldorf – Gossip Girl You're a Waldorf, remember? People don't tell you who you are. You tell them. Stay and fight. I'll fight with you. While Blair and Serena are definitely more adversaries than friends for much of Gossip Girl's run, their love for each other always prevails in the end. We'll get through this together. You promise? Promise. The series kicks off with the former best friends being estranged after Serena returns home from a mysterious absence from New York. But as the series progresses, the two alternate between being close and outright feuding. Hey, I don't want to get out of here. I'm not going back to that party. No, oh, I mean, out of here, out of here, out of this apartment. To a place a little more sane. The thing is, though, when Blair and Serena are on the same team, they're a force to be reckoned with. And no amount of drama can get in the way of that. You know, as much as I'm going to miss you and you're in Providence, having separate lives ensures no competition, which means no high school pettiness. Promise we won't go back to our old ways. Like you said, that was high school. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.